here in Whananaki we have a vision of a culturally connected caring community. My name's Val, known as Auntie Val mostly. Kia ora, my name's Samara Nicholas and pleased to be part of the Community Led Development Group. Kia ora, I'm Charles Wheatford from Whananaki Community Led Development. I am championing the Wahitapu Initiative on behalf of our ancestors. We've got a mission about working together, like rowing the walker in the same direction. For us there is a real focus in this community, community on not just the awa but the whole mountains to see. A few of us were great diggers in this area for for us and this is six, seven years. It started off with like a set of tools to begin with and then it just grew into way much more. We identified lots and lots of threats to this particular habitat um, as to why we're not having that inanga spawning success, success at the moment. It's about community doing what they believe is best for them. We hope to have a, a cafe and a gallery and a, um, a nursery that hopefully will, will grow native plants which we're go going to one day plant our beautiful hill up there. We have a consistent leadership group who are always there, uh, really committed to the kaupapa. And uh, they, don't, they don't do everything, but they keep it moving. The main um, outcome so far is that, that um, with the community-led development projects, uh, there's a lot of work happening in the background, um, but when you get out there and start doing planting, it's stuff that people can see. CLD is about learning as you go, you don't know all the answers. It's not till you start the journey and take those steps, you start to learn things. So that's why they say learning by doing, um, but it's also learning by sharing. Before I used to be in this group of people over up here, and then I was also in this group of people down there. So I sort of connected people with didn't like people for no reason, or didn't get off people just because. I think we've got a ways to go, but I can see the momentum and the power of working collaboratively, sharing of the resources, and just getting to know each other. It's small steps, but the fact that we've already started to be able to fence off some of these areas, um, and now just starting to plant them, but not only plant them just with with actually, we're planting them with actually plants that we have grown ourselves. Now it's gone from this, from all these tools, and now our next stages are the beautification of each and every one of those several cemeteries. While you look at the big picture and the kind of outcomes you want, you've got to enjoy the journey along the way. And it will take a long time to, to get everyone on board, but the hardest part of any project is, is starting, and we've certainly been able to get things started here in Whananaki. Showing monarchy, being hospitable to others, uh, sharing, sharing of your surplus. You need to help one another, I think that's the, that's the big thing. For me it's about getting them in here, sitting on the seats and getting the thinking and decision making as well. It's just really exciting now we've got progress with some of the, the water bays, waterways being fenced off and, and we ha hopefully we get more and more plants into this um, Te Wairahi Awa um, over the next couple of years. The, the strength of community-led development starts within the community itself, you know, because they're all components in a community. And I think of it like a circle of influence. So that circle goes outwards, right, within the community, but then it should go beyond the bounds of the community because that's when you're going to get real collective impact. It's not them and us or us and them or whatever you want to call it. It should be a good community, wouldn't it? Thank you. In Whananaki, we're learning. <laughs> but we're learning together. And that's the cool thing.